Good morning dear friends. We praise God and thank God for his faithfulness in bringing us into this very brand new day. And you know, the Lord who gives us a day to live also has already given us everything we need to live a victorious and fruitful life. And if we are not victorious and fruitful, then God is not to be blamed. we have to blame ourselves and check whether we are really appropriating the power that god has already provided for us to protect ourselves now one question i want to ask this morning for our meditation is how do we respond to false teachings and protect ourselves and also help others to be protected as well jude gives us the answer So this is a continuation a continuation of what we have been talking uh, yesterday. And so I would like to read a portion of Jude's letter verses 17 to 21. In this passage Jude gives us the answer how to protect ourselves. Verse 17. But dear friends, remember what the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ foretold. They said to you in the last times there will be scoffers and who will follow their own ungodly desires these are the men who divide you who follow mere natural instincts and do not have the spirit but you dear friends build yourselves up in your most holy faith and pray in the holy spirit keep yourselves in god's love as you wait for the mercy of our lord jesus christ to bring you to eternal life and dear friends we have the responsibility uh, to guard ourselves from false teachers with their teaching we need not to worry about uh, about uh, about this this problem and uh, we don't need to seek help anywhere else and uh, wondering where to find the remedy jude has given us a fourfold answer and that's what i am going to mention in this passage especially verse 21 he says four things there he said to guard yourself Number 1 build yourself in the most holy faith yourself God has given you and help you to know about this wonderful holy faith that has come down to us from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we must know the truth we must know what the truth is it means study the bible in the book of acts chapter 2 verse 42 we are told the new believers who believed at the preaching of the gospel of jesus christ to by the apostle peter along with 11 other disciples 3000 of them believed and baptized on the same day and then we are told that uh, they were added to the church of the lord jesus christ and they gave themselves daily to the apostles doctrine and to fellowship and breaking of bread and to prayer you see that how important it is for us to build our faith by giving ourselves to constant study of the scriptures jude does not advocate any counter Uh, reactions against the false teachers notice his solution is not a negative one but a positive one he says fight lies with the truth and jesus himself said do not overcome evil by evil but overcome evil by good that is what jesus said and remember that by doing this 
you build your faith practicing as you study the word of god thank god for the word of god that he has given us in our hand so that what is in our hand may go into our mind and from the mind it may descend into our heart and that our heart and our mind may all be filled with the knowledge of god's word which reveals to us god's way of living and god's way of doing things that is a build that will build our faith and the second thing we need to do in order to overcome these false teachers and with their teachings uh it says pray in the spirit now now what does that mean praying in the spirit it means pray according to god's will a uh, study the scriptures about to prayer and the scriptures will give you the the understanding as to how to pray what to pray for and that is going to help you so pray in the spirit and uh, we need the holy spirit and depend on the holy spirit and your prayer life it is very important pray in the spirit and without the holy spirit we cannot pray in the spirit and the holy spirit is given to us not only to uh, exhibit a power through miracles and all but the holy spirit also is given us to do some more important work in ourselves and one of the things he does is to help us in our prayer so even for a god accepting prayers you need the holy spirit and you need the word of god and i again emphasize for prayer according to god's will you need to know what the scripture says and you need to be filled and anointed by the holy spirit and then thirdly keep ourselves in the love of god god's love is like sunshine it's always shining and it is constantly shining but we can block uh, the love of god by barriers to shade your uh, ourselves from his love jude says don't do that keep yourself in the bright and in the brightness of uh, god's unceasing love and friends when god loves he loves he does not run away from that love he will not leave you but it is very often we who leave his love and leave him and run away and then he waits for our return and those who repent and return shall indeed be blessed again with the father's love and so if you are growing cold in your love it is time for you to examine where you have made the mistake return there repent and return our father in heaven is only waiting he will not condemn you he will answer your repentance you know you remember when the prodigal son returned home he walked right into the brightness of his father's love there was no shadow of any barrier we must constantly cleanse ourselves from sin by confessing thus allowing god's love and forgiveness flow into our hearts and into our life and thus we be accepted of the lord so remember this god's way of countering false teachers and the fourthly and the last one is keep a hope alive wait for the mercy of our lord jesus christ and wait for the eternal life 
for the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This refers to the hope of his coming for the church and his second coming. We must keep our hope alive and be alert. Look for Jesus to intervene and put an end to sin and suffering. He shall reward the saints and judge the sinners and the wicked. Let our prayer be, let your kingdom come, O Father God. This is our hope and it is called a living hope. Because the one who has given us this hope is still alive. Who said, because I live, you also will live. And he has promised that he will come back. And let us wait in, in, in expectation. And let us be watchful. So that our lives may not be covered by shadows. So that the love of God may be blocked. Jesus is coming. You are worried about all the sufferings and all the wickedness and corruption that is rampant in this worldly life. And you are wondering why God is silent. God is not silent, my friend. He will fulfill His promise of His coming. When He comes, He will set everything right. He will reward the saints. So live a saintly life. Because this suffering is only momentary. But when he comes, he will take us to our eternal life. A life that shall never end. Putting an end to every kind of suffering. and Wipe away all our tears. As he rewards us. To live with him forever and ever. Get ready. And that is the way we can protect ourselves from false teaching, keep our hope alive. Resist the false and embrace the truth. God bless you. And I pray that the Spirit of God will bless you and fill you and anoint you so that you will put these things into practice and be victorious for it is God's will for you to live a victorious life. Amen. God bless you. This is a wonderful day. Enjoy this day and live well.